we were really lucky because the Aslan Foundation came to us to see if we would like to have it as our permanent headquarters. And um, you know, after a lot of thought, we said, that sounds like a wonderful idea. And the first floor will be a period restoration. This fireplace mantle is located in the studio that was built with the house in 1890. It's a spectacular room. I'm, it's rare in the United States for a painting studio to be built for a woman in 1890. But Adelia was a you know, very accomplished painter. And you can see some of her work here. Being the painter that she was, she hand painted each of these tiles with the face of one of her favorite authors. So it's a really wonderful piece. You know, you see Adelia's hand actually at work here in this fireplace mantle and surround. This room is an addition to the house. It's one of the very few changes that occurred here. And from the looks up of it, it was very early. And while we know it was while Adelia still lived in the house. And according to the family, this became one of her favorite places to paint. So she had her large, dramatic painting studio here. And then this really sweet little room with great light where she would sit and paint for hours at a time. This is another example of Adelia's work here in the house and we're so lucky that it has survived this long. It's a painting of a bouquet of flowers and one of which being a hollyhock and that's another signature of this property is the hollyhock and people always say that when they go past the house, past the serpentine brick wall on Kingston Pike, there were always hollyhocks blooming along that wall because it was sort of a tribute to Adelia and her love of flowers and painting flowers. This room is one of the other spectacular features of the house in addition to the studio. And a lot of people will come through here and have been in here multiple times and they think that this is wallpaper and it's not. This is a hand painted fresco that covers the entire room and the ceiling. And at first we assume that, oh, Adelia must have done it because she was the painter, but we're now guessing she had her hands full getting this house built and decorated and the family and all of her responsibilities. So she actually turned this room over to a gentleman named Mortimer Thompson. He was the father of um, Jim Thompson who star started Thompson Photo. And this room really has a lot of work to be done. There's been um, failure of the plaster due to a structural issue below the um, mantle in the fireplace and some water damage over the years. So we'll have a professional conservator come in to restore these frescoes. And, and at this point, we're thinking we're gonna do that after we open next April so that the public can come in and see this restoration in place. And if you look here you can see some stripes where it's a little bit lighter. It actually looks like the sunlight hitting it. But that's where a conservator went through and cleaned the fresco painting. And so it's really going to be a dramatic difference because this house has had a hundred and almost 125 years of coal dust and dirt and exhaust from cars on Kingston Pike. So it's really left a layer of grime that will wipe away and then will repair the painting. So it will be absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that great? Just a little bit of water, a little soap.